द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन इज अनालिसिस ऑफ सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट्स सो वट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस डिस्कशन इज दिस प्रजेंटेशन डील्स विद द एनालिसिस प्रोसीजर्स फॉर सिक्वेंशियल लॉजिक सिस्टम्स सो फर्स्ट विल सी वट इज सिंक्रोनस सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट्स circuits where a clock signal is used to control operation is called a synchronous sequential circuit this statement means that uh, there is a global signal one global signal that is a clock and based on that clock all the uh, outputs or you can say all the flip flops get triggered so this means we are achieving synchronization with help of one global signal that is clock okay now the second thing is the term active clock edge refers to the clock edge that causes a change in a state so positive or negative so we know that in our uh, sequential uh, circuits uh, uh, one combinational circuit is there and one sequential is there so sequential circuit will uh, save the state of the circuit so when you want to change a state so that state will be changed either at positive edge or a negative edge so means state transitions will take uh, take place at positive or negative third is realized using combination logic and one or more flip flops so when you are implementing a sequential circuit during that time you will use combinational as well as flip flop mixture now suppose you want to model a synchronous sequential circuits so there are two methods one is you can implement using moore model where circuit output depend only on the present state of the circuit and second is miele model where the circuit output depend upon the present state of the circuit and the primary inputs so these are the two ways by which you can design a state machine or you can say a sequential circuit synchronization means different flip flops in a circuit should trigger at the same clock edge yeah yeah uh, uh, this it is also a synchronization that uh, first flip flop will uh, trigger on first positive edge and the next flip flop will trigger on only f- uh, positive clock edge but after two period two periods after two all the two flip flops will trigger on the positive edge only okay. but there may be period difference uh, is it synchronization or period difference means uh, uh, your uh, clock is uh, coming at the same time in both the flip flops or it is uh, at different times maybe it's coming similarly but flip flops will trigger on positive clock edge okay uh, but uh. if first flip flop will trigger on first uh, clock edge of first period and the second flip flop will trigger on the third period periods uh, positive clock okay then they are called to be uh, they are meant to be in synchronous yeah like uh, see when you are distributing the clock so what issue you are uh, telling that should not come okay uh, it's not possible that uh, one flip flop will uh, trigger at one cycle and other flip flop will trigger at agr- uh, other cycle all the flip flop should trigger together suppose uh, you are telling that in one cycle first cycle first trig- uh, flip flop is triggered mm-hmm. this doesn't mean that second uh, that third flip flop is not triggering okay that is also triggered so but this data will take some 2 3 cycles to reach here yeah uh, so then uh, during that is synchronization only because of one clock your all the uh, there is activity in all the flip flops right but the output of first will not come out through the output of fourth flip flop na ah that is latency that you are adding a latency in the circuit you remove the uh, two the flip flops Bec- so you want to remove support two flip flop but we are talking about the synchronization when we apply a passage all the four fl- flip flops will get triggered okay, okay. so it's not uh, data will take uh, data will definitely take time to propagate to output okay so you can reduce that latency you remove the two flip flops and you can reduce the latency but our uh, main intention is at uh, global signal clock all the circuit should be triggered okay, okay. now uh, third point is sequential circuits are also called as finite state machine why they are called as finite state machine means uh, after uh, performing a s- uh, one uh, uh, p- uh, responsibilities you like suppose you are designing a circuit to detect a sequence of 101 so after uh, uh, completing that portion uh, l- that uh, sequence uh, your circuit will come to some known state you can say that idle state 